Hello, привет! Welcome to Ask Tatiana videos. In these videos, I answer your questions about difficult Russian grammar or vocabulary points. If you have a question, please ask in the comments below. Uh, today we have a very interesting point that bothers a lot of people studying Russian. Is what is the difference between свой и его, ее, мой, etc. When do we say свой and when do we say его, мой, твой, and so on. So, uh, the answer is uh, very simple. It's because свой always refers to the subject of the sentence. Он любит свою жену. Он любит свою жену. So you see, свою жену will refer to он. Свою will refer to он, the subject of the sentence, он. So we can be sure that he loves his wife, the woman he is married to, свою жену. Now, let's say, он любит его жену. Он любит его жену. Well, here it's quite ambiguous, because его can mean, of course, his, the subject of the sentence, он. But it can also mean his wife, meaning the wife of somebody else, which is already a little bit more complicated. So, свою жену means the wife of the subject, свою. And его can mean him, also the subject, or somebody else. You have different possibilities. So, when you say свою, uh, you can't really mix up. Let's take another example. Он знает свой город, means he knows his city, he knows it very well. Он знает свой город, so it refers to him again. Он знает его город, can mean he knows his own city or city of somebody else. And so, uh, свой, uh, своя, свои can't be the subject of a sentence, because it refers to a subject, it can't be the subject on itself. For example, a very typical mistake is to say своя семья большая. You want to say if my family is big, you say своя семья большая. No, it doesn't work because своя, свой, свои can't be a subject. So here you have to say моя семья большая. Well, I hope that you understood this rule. Uh, I would like you to write a sentence, an example, with uh, svoy uh, in the comments and um, I will correct it if it's not correct. So, let's practice and if you like my channel, please subscribe because there will be lots of other videos. Ask your questions and also become Russian Dacia member and visit my website. Пока-пока!